Now, the great thing about this rubber liquid jacket is you can get your roof watertight very, very quickly. We're overlaying the boards down here. These are getting screwed through into the sip panels below. Remember, they have timbers inside them, so this board needs to bite down to that, so there is no movement. Stephen's applying a first coat now. It's rolled on, so it is quick and easy. Once this dries, we'll get some scrimp tape and put it across the joints to reinforce them, and then we'll apply a second and a third layer. Now the surface is dry enough to walk on, I can start to focus on the joints. I'm using Max Bond to start with, spreading this across the joints and then smoothing it out with a plastic scraper. Once I know I've filled in all of the joints, I roll out my reinforced tape directly across the Max Bond. Again, using my scraper, I start to flatten across the top of the scrim tape and the Max Bond starts to ooze its way through, grabbing it and holding it tightly into position. Once it's complete, I can leave this to dry for an hour or two and then start to apply my second coat. Again, this is applied on with the roller. It's really easy. You just pour out the liquid jacket directly from the tub and roll it out with your roller. You may still see some of the seams on the reinforced tape, but that's nothing to worry about. Once you apply your third coat on there, they'll be completely covered. Now the back wall is going to require a fillet fixing in place. Now these again can be glued into position using 3C's Max Bond. These are fixed directly to the wall and to the top of the flat roof. The beauty about Max Bond, it's got great grab properties to a variety of different materials, so it will have no problem sticking to both your liquid jackets on the roof and of course the masonry brickwork on the wall. Put plenty of this on, place it into position, straddling the joints by about 200 millimeters, firmly press on the edge of the fillet strip, tight up against the wall and onto the roof, so you make sure that the Max Bond is grabbing it firmly into position. Once it's in position, apply a little bit more across the join and edge and do the same with your reinforced tape. Roll it out and spread this across using a plastic scraper. This holds the scrimp into position for when you're ready to apply your liquid jacket over it. Now on the two sides and the face of the flat roof, you're going to have to fit a different trim. This is called a standard drip trim. Again, it can be glued on and fixed into position with your Max Bond. These need to be fitted into position to avoid any surface water off the roof penetrating back into the top edge of the roof board. It allows it to drip clear from the building or into a gutter. So that's a quick and easy solution when it comes to waterproofing a flat roof. Now, if you want to see the full construction of our garden office, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mr. and Mrs. DIY. If you just want to know more about the vast range of products that free sea stock, check out their website.